landed. Now we're trying to figure out which uh, gate is our next flight. To Zurich this train takes you to gates A, B, and B. Adri's 19 today. She's growing up on us. We're all exhausted. Well, that was a long. That was a long flight. Are you tired, Jesse? No. 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 Okay, so we're good. Really flying to. Now we're flying to Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen and we got here connected to connected to the airport Wi-Fi and got a text that our luggage did not make the connecting flight so we had tried to do all carry-ons and then at the last minute had to buy one checked suitcase and Adrian's guitar had to get checked then we decided to check my backpack and the other carry-on suitcases as yeah, well check mine. just so that we had a little less chaos to deal with trying to get on the flights with so we actually checked way more than we should have but we have our phones thankfully we have our Berkey a what which is necessary we have our stroller so we got to go figure out what to do about the rest because we're not staying in Denmark, we're heading to Germany. So I don't know if they'll ship it all the way to Germany to us. I'm not sure what they'll do with that. None of our other baggage made it, but Adrian's guitar made it. I Yay. saw it, I was like, <sighs> my guitar. Let's see if my uh, DIY worked. Ready? Yep. Ready? 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 Oh, it looks in great shape. Adrian stuffed socks in every nook and cranny and crevice and made that guitar in there solid. There you go, folks. You can get a cheap, crappy guitar case and your guitar might survive. All of our luggage is here, so. They liars. Liars. liars! All right, we have all our kids. We have all our luggage. We got, we got everything, and that is where our plan ends. You gotta be kidding me. That's as far as we got. It's been too crazy to plan much further than that. So, I just looked, and it looks like there's an Airbnb reasonably nearby for a reasonable price. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. much drama has just happened that we haven't really caught on film basically we're looking everywhere for a hotel or an Airbnb to stay in for the night and at first my mom wanted to get this one Airbnb that was super nice looking and decently affordable but then it said that they wouldn't let us know for up to 24 hours whether or not we made it so mom thought that this Airbnb wouldn't work because um, they weren't going to get back to us in 24 hours, so she was just going to get a hotel. But then she got an email, apparently she accidentally booked the Airbnb, and they got back to us and said that they're letting us stay there. Yep. So now we're getting two taxis and heading to this Airbnb.
All right, we have to track down some food for all of our hungry kiddos. So we left Toby with most of them. Me, Adri, Michael, and Levi are walking there because so there's a pizza place a couple blocks away and I think that there might be a grocery store nearby so we can get some stuff for breakfast, hopefully. So there was a lot of chaos at the airport, but as we got in the cab and started driving, all of a sudden it kind of hit me that we're in Denmark. We're in Copenhagen. Like, it's kind of a crazy thought. I, I don't know. It's kind of like one of those places you're just like, oh, it'd be so cool to go there one day. But like, in the back of your mind, you never think it's a reality. But like, we're here, which is super cool. And it just has such a different feel. I love it. Uh, you okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine. Just going up and down sidewalks needlessly. Well, uh, I bought bread for everybody, but I have no idea what kind of bread. Pizza familia size. <laughs> so I bought some sort of really the dense, the food. <laughs> some sort of really dense bread that could be gluten free, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But uh, you know, it's Denmarkian. <laughs> it's day one of Denmark. Oh, uh, we're all, I think we slept like over 12 hours, but still a little groggy. Probably by day three, we'll start feeling normal again. I gave everybody melatonin before bed last night, so everyone slept great except Levi, and who I didn't give melatonin to, and Adri, who fell asleep before I gave out the melatonin. So she woke up somewhere in the middle of the night and was awake for about three hours, which is kind of sucky. She wandered around thinking I would have left it out for her, which I did on the kitchen table, but she was looking on the table in their room and couldn't find it. So she's a little bit more tired than the rest of us, but she's doing pretty good. So she's just talking to uh, Kate right now from San Zutara. They're just having a WhatsApp conversation chatting, getting to know each other before she jumps on the boat. So we are booked in at this Airbnb for two more nights, just to get all our bearings and get over the jet lag, get our energy back. Then after that, we're not quite sure yet. We gotta figure out where we're going, what we're doing. We've talked about a lot of different options that we have for getting around while we're in Europe, um, different places we wanna go people that we need to meet and catch up with. And uh, so we just have to prioritize that and figure out which things we're doing first. There's just so many options. So we're gonna try to get that figured out today and tomorrow, but we also wanna go and see some of Copenhagen while we're here. So we're just getting everybody dressed. I think everyone's dressed now except Toby's in the shower. So once he's done, we're gonna head out and see what we can find. so funny how the buildings here they're not they don't look old they look pretty new like updated what the buildings 
but they like the style of them is so different. Yeah. It's so cool. Yes, no. <laughs> Take chances. Sitting in the park, about yeah. to eat lunch. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're here in Copenhagen. We've been looking all day for bikes to rent a bike to find it. They have the call the Christiana bike, and it's like a big basket in front of you. Like four kids can go in it. If we pan around, you'll we'll see one soon enough because everybody here rides a bike. But we just we found one, and they wanted like they wanted 400 kroners, which I don't even know what that is. Oh. Whoa! Four hundred kroners, which is not terrible. It's like seventy bucks. Whoa! They want that's about forty bucks. No, oh, seventy. Yeah. And then you can rent just a regular pedal bike for a hundred kroner, which is twenty. Oh, um, yeah! So we might do that tomorrow. We'll see how things go. They call it soft ice. Soft ice. It's soft serve. It's soft serve. Instead of ice cream, it's soft ice. What flavor did they get? I don't know. How is it? You don't like it. Jesse, how does it taste, buddy? Good. 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 Oh, okay. Is it good? Yeah. That's good. Well, we gotta go do the laundry. We're gonna walk to up Japan Veg. No, it's Japan Bay. Japan Bay. That's where we're going. And we'll head to the main street, go to laundry and get some lattes. It might automatically do this though because I don't see a soap spot. The problem is I don't know how to read all this. See, you don't even know which one's the washing machine and which one's the dryer. That's You're just gonna take it all out? I won't take my card. Thick. I know. 
That's oh all. Oh my god. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, oh. Yeah, I got some food. <laughs> What are you doing? That you were terrible at angles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Orange juice. <laughs> Just a little okay. This one's like grapefruit, soul bears, and edible. All right. We spent most of the day. Well, I spent most of the day inside. We didn't. Oh, I didn't. The Airbnb, trying to figure out where we're going next. We have to be out of the Airbnb tomorrow morning at noon. I didn't have a plan, so. As usual. <laughs> unfortunately, I spent most of my last day in Copenhagen, figuring out where we're going after Copenhagen. Anyways, we have a plan for tomorrow. And now that we have that plan, we are heading to the beach, which we're only a couple of blocks from and haven't been to yet. It's amazing, it's 24 Celsius. Oh, it feels so good. Adri. I have goosebumps. Adri She's has, American now. She has Look goosebumps. Look at me. She, I got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, you can. All my hairs are standing up. You can up. see it. She's crazy. 